Hi everybody, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter owners of Godiva Secret Wigs. And I am very happy to have with me my special model. Wig virgin or not a wig virgin? No. No. I still have one. I have one. I own one wig. Okay. I'm a new wig wearer. A new wig wearer. <laughs> this is Cindy. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and our video today is going to help so many women out there that we'll never meet. But it's so important to share whatever you want while we're talking. Don't hold back. If you think it might help somebody, go ahead and share. So, where did you drive in from, first of all? Uh, well, we flew in from Ohio. We oh my Ohio. gosh! So we're, we're a long way from home. We're Midwesterners trying to get used to this traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. And so, you flew in, so thank you so much. Terry, just come and poke your head in here a minute. <laughs> We've got hubby along, Terry. There you go. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, thank you, Terry. So, we've got Terry here, and maybe we'll talk a little bit about how husbands' responses are and what they might be feeling or whatever. And so, you feel free to jump in if you like, okay? So, you have beautiful hair. This is Cindy's hair. I mean, my goodness, so why are you wearing wigs? All right. Well, it used to be a lot more beautiful. <laughs> like many women, as we age, our hair starts to thin, and mine in the last two years has done that. I used to have tons of body, a lot more hair, mm -hmm. and now I don't. And it's such a big change, and to get it to look like this takes a lot of product, and a lot of work, and a lot of time. Used to, I'd used to spend all that time, it would last a long time. It doesn't anymore. So, you know, that's one of the reasons I wanted a wig. Okay. And, um, yeah. So, you shared with me, but you don't have to, but 10 years ago, something happened. Did that thin your hair? No, I was, I was okay. I had a major heart attack. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and thank goodness I was in the ER when it really happened. Wow. So yeah, so they were able to zap me and bring me back and that really didn't have too much effect. Okay. So All I was right. quite fortunate on Great. That. So just over time, it's not always the way you want it. So did you get your hair done or do you do this yourself? No, the, I do this myself. Wow. Yeah, I do this myself. I mean, look at this woman. <laughs> look what Cindy does. So is your hair, is this naturally curly back here? Yes, it it's, has a natural way. Okay. It needs product in it to bring it out. Okay. But, and again, it's a lot less than it used to be. But this is, in my case, heredity. Um, my mother, her mother, my mother's female cousins all have a lot of thinning hair as they age. Okay. So this is not totally unexpected. And it's just, uh, it's... I don't know, it's kind of bothersome to look at it, and I think it ages you a little bit. Well, I'm, I'm old, but <laughs> I don't want to look as old as I am, well, I'll say that. <laughs> I, you're not old. I mean, I have no clue how old you are, but... Well, I'm 72. Really? Yeah, really? You look beautiful. Well, thank you. That's nice of you to Beautiful. Say, and blue eyes with gray. I can't beat that. So... For both of you, so you said you wanted to try some different styles and maybe some different colors. Right. And when Cindy sent me a picture, she had her gray hair and not much makeup and a gray t-shirt on and I had a heck of a time <laughs> because normally a model would give me, I'll get some kind of hint, um, but I didn't get a hint. So I'm going to take Cindy in different ways that I, I'm not sure. But that's what you're here for. Right, right. So, Cindy, her, your first wig is a Sabrina in Silverstone, yes. and that's good. Yes. Oh, I love it. And okay. It, my friends love it who've seen it. Okay. My husband loved it. All right. And everyone says, oh my gosh, you look 20 years younger. I said, oh, this is good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll keep going. All right, so can I mess your hair up a little? Oh, yeah. That's All no right, problem. so. So, Cindy's hair is short, so I can't really put it in any kind of a ponytail. So, I'd like to take my glasses off, that's no problem. Sure. 
No problem. I'm going to move your bangs. That's fine. And so when I have a new client, I like to ease her in one way or another. And so I don't know how risky, I don't know how bold, I don't know you. So I'm normally, and this is good for you to order if you're going to order, first either start with a color that's in your comfort zone or a style in your comfort zone. So I'm going to start with a uh, silver stone and I'm starting with Selma. I want to see how you look shorter, okay. smoother. So up at the hairline and even the tabs. So Terry, don't freak out yet because <laughs> when you first put a wig on and you have to share this with your family or your husbands, it doesn't know what you want it to do, but all you have to do is start around your face. Some women want some height, some don't. But I want to see with your face and your shape and your neck, I can bring this down a little bit just by patting it down. So when you get a new wig, don't just freak out as soon as you put it on. You should see what this Rochelle looked like before I put it on. I might show you soon. <laughs> so, have you ever had your hair short? Yes. Um, it's been a little shorter than this, but I'm now, try I'm now wanting to grow it out because deciding to wear a wig, it would really help, I think, if I could put in a little ponytail back here. Oh, okay. And I'm used to having long hair. I've had long hair oh, most of my life. Okay. And it's only been shorter in the last maybe three, four years. All right, so I'm glad I also chose a few longer because I didn't know you'd like to put it in a pony. So your hair, you can't put in a pony right not, now. You're not right, right now. It's so, going to take a while, but I'll get there. <laughs> so, and just the truth, you don't have to like something. You can like it. it. It does not matter to me. I don't take it personally. But I want everyone to see. And a hint with a short wig, instead of brushing it down and down, it can tend to look like a wig. Just take your fingers or a brush and bring it together and bring it up and back. And I hope you can see the difference on this. Can you see that, Terry? Yes. Okay. So we're saying too short. Yeah, this would be too short. Okay. All right. And too poofy on top. Okay. I don't. And I could tame that down, spritzing it, but it's not your length. So let's move on. <laughs> so uh, let's try Freedom in Silverstone. I've wanted to try your most popular way to see what it does. Okay. And remember that the bangs can be trimmed, the length can be trimmed, everything, it can all be toned down by either yourself watching our videos or a hairdresser. So this has that little extra tickle yeah, right here. Now, if I want to, some women, it's just too bouffant. Right, yeah, okay, it agree. would be for me too. Oh, yes. So all I'm going to do is give it a little spritz, and that will tame it right down. And then we play. So these are just tips you can do with any wig. And if a wig feels like there's too much hair right at the face, just put it behind your ears. So do you see how that kind of calmed it? Yes, it calmed it quite a bit. And your bangs are smooth. So I'm going to pull just a touch of your bang out to work with it. And I could round it out. Wow, that's nice, yeah. Kind of cute, right? It, it is kind of cute. But I want you to see the pack. Here, if you look. You oh, there I there. am. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's nice. There you go. So, that's, that is why a lot of women love it. And it's got this little longer piece. It just looks natural. You don't, I just wanted to put it behind your ears. Yeah, well, that's fine. I, I 
frequently when we have okay. behind my ears. So that's, that's your thing. Yeah, that's that's no problem. Okay, so yeah. I like this. Pretty. I like the length. Mm -hmm. I like it a little longer, and it's kind of like my own hair a little bit because it's layered and a little layer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to do now, I'm going to put you in freedom again. But this is our new Silverstone with Roots. Oh, okay. It just came out, and so I'm excited to try it on you. So let's put that right there. And you know, my gift to you, my thank you for being courageous, is you pick any wig you want, or if there's not one here you love, wow, that matches your hair perfectly. Then um, we'll order one for you. So I just want to show you, see when you get bangs like this, I mean we ship all over the world. Sometimes a bang is not perfect or in shipping it has uh, gotten a little straighter or gotten a little curlier. So this is our hot roller brush and I'm just going to take it and let's just round this out so we can get a better idea. Not making it perfect yet, but to give you a little idea. So should I spritz this a little bit? Uh, yes. Okay. Definitely. So I'm going to spritz. Why don't you put your hands in it a little bit and play? Because we want to see what Cindy does, <laughs> not just me. <laughs> Do you like the root? Um, I'm not wild about rooted. Okay. Okay. I'm not because A, it's so dark, and my own hair was blonde when I was young, and then light brown, so okay. to see dark roots um, doesn't feel not your like, thing. Right, doesn't feel like me. Okay, right. so you would go for Silverstone not rooted. Right, not rooted. Okay. Right. Great. And yeah, just because yeah, I'm not used to dark. All right, okay, great. So let's move that little girl aside. Now, I'm going to put you in some different colors. Good. So don't flip yet. <laughs> and so the most important thing for friends and family, and even yourself, you want to try a different color, but you're fearful, and many times we'll just make this right and everything else wrong, because it's just what you're used to. It's just a habit. So I am now going to try and unstick. <laughs> Cindy, not that her gray, not that Silverstone and her gray hair isn't great, but just in giving women choices, because you know that's what I do. So this is Valerie in Creamy Toffee H. Hold that. Feel how like that little baby oh, is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She weighs nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. So let's see if it's too short for what you want. So I don't know if you know, but our clients own two to 20 of our wigs. I've heard you say that. <laughs> they get addicted. I can understand that. <laughs> I really can. So I want you to play. And I can spritz some more if you want. But I already know you're a lady. You need to spritz that water. <laughs> some women brush a wig and they'll say, oh, it's too bouffant. It's like a beehive. All you have to do is spritz a little water, and that changes everything. Mm. And you can also just pat it down. So does this feel too short for you? Um, a little bit. OK. Yeah. OK. I think I like the color. It does look good on you. I like the color. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah, I like the color, but I do think that's a little too short. OK. So for Cindy's liking, for her choice, and no one would judge her choices as wrong. It's sitting on her head. Same with all of you. It's not for anyone else to really judge, but it's especially for our wig community to support you in what you want. But can't you just see this on yourself if you do like short hair? I met you maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. I love it on you, but you have a goal. You want to be able to have it a little longer. So great, but it's still, it is a great color. Creamy Toffee H. Yeah, I do like highlight. the, the color is very nice. Okay. I do like that. All right, perfect. 
Let's keep going. So I always ask my models, what do you want to see? Do you want to try something specific? This is Kelly. Okay. And this was something that you wanted to try, my sweet Kelly, that I love. So up at the hairline, and then even the tabs. So there are ear tabs. You want them even to make sure the wig is even or it's going to feel odd on your head. So it starts out like a lot of hair. It does. But I <laughs> promise you, when I trim it, it would be amazing. But it's still, well, it's got some wispies. No, it does have that. Exactly. So let me yeah. tuck this price tag in so you'll be able to see it. And if you haven't checked out our Facebook group, I don't know if you go on oh, Facebook. Yeah. Oh, I do. Yes. Oh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Godiva Secret Wig Community. And you will see so many pictures. It is so active. Danielle and I can hardly keep up. But they will show you what they did to their wigs. And so right away for you, I would trim all this, lighten it up. And then we would talk and we'd work our way up on this. Yeah. Unless you wanted a little bit. But I would take it, you know, make the longest about here. But it's just a great wig. So we can feel a little longer in the front. Or we can take all this shorter if you love the back. Let me just back comb this so it's out of your face for a minute here. So let me turn you. And again... It's more bouffant. Hold on, because I know you're not liking this already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a bouffant. I'm a quick learner. So let's take it down. So see how easy that is? And then if you love it the way it is, you use our low alcohol keep it there hairspray. Doesn't damage the fibers at all. So let me just turn and show our viewers. So this is Kelly. It's just got a great back. This is all Kelly. This is not Cindy down here. Yeah, I like the line. I, I have a very long neck, and I, I like okay. hair down there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the back of that. Isn't that pretty? That look at the side nice. view. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So really, really pretty. And we just trim that a little bit or open it up, make it a little bit airier, shorten those bangs. And it's also creating a wig. You know, the wigs that Danielle and I make, it would be insane if they worked perfectly for every single woman that puts them on. So just be open to making a few changes to customize it for you. So this... This is pretty. Pretty color. You like the lighter around your face? Yeah, I do like that. I like that okay. very much. Yeah. So as a husband, can, are you, can you envision when we're talking about trimming the bangs and taking it a little shorter and stuff, or are you more like, eh-eh? I would prefer to trim them so she's happy with it. Okay. Um, because this is new to me, it's, it takes a while to get used to it. But right. If, if she's happy with it, that length, then fine. But okay, got it. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> <That's> right. Okay. <laughs> Great and smart and wonderful <laughs> husband. Right, because if she feels pretty in it, you're going to have a happier woman. Mm -hmm. So, very good. Yeah, that's, that's a nice style. That's a nice there style. There she is. All right, now. I'm going to put you in Abigail, which okay, is kind of similar and frosted toe. Yeah, I know. I was looking forward to okay. Abigail and frosted toe. So I am shaking. I am shaking, okay, because that's how we're going to start with this baby and lace front. Yeah, I was interested in seeing what that, the difference, how it feels different lace from front, frosted the normal. Toe. Yes. Okay, perfect. So up at the hairline, and I want to show you the difference. So look here. Terry, can you see that? Yes. It's just mind-blowing if you like wearing your hair off your face. Make those ear tabs even. 
So again, this is a little playing, a little creating to make it perfect. But uh, just working on that front because that back is you. I don't know if you think it's too short. I want you to see it for your liking. So let's tone it down right away. <laughs> you are a quick study. <laughs> You could pull your hair right with this. You could pull your hair out, even bring it and work it right with that if you wanted to. With a little, if you blue dry your hair and this was trimmed to work with your hair. Yeah, I think the color works nice. The color's great. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna show everybody I want you to see because Abigail. Now that you saw the back of Cindy's hair, Terry, isn't that a lot like her yes. hair? Yes. And we could get those bangs almost identical to how your I hair is. I'm going to stick my glasses on. Yeah, so you can leave your glasses on if you like. Oh, I like the back. Look at that. That is, that's a lot like my hair is yes. now. Yes, look. Yeah, that is great. And, oh. That's so neat to have that lace. That's, yeah. Wow, I like the color. I like the style. Once we play with it a little bit. Once we, yeah, this we play with it a little yeah. bit, but it's it's got a lot of what you are looking for. Yeah. And it would resemble your hair. So are you the kind of woman that you prefer that it always looks similar? Like you don't want to go out with looking different? I'm not, not sure right now okay. <laughs> because I haven't okay. had anything really different. Right? Okay. But, I mean, I'm open to a lot of things. Okay, get ready, girl. <laughs> We're going so, there. Yeah, I put, yeah. I've been easing you in, yeah. easing you in a little that's, bit. That's kind of why I wanted to do this because yeah. for so long, well, I started, you know, for years I highlighted my hair and colored it. And then right before the pandemic, I said, I'm done coloring. I'm done spending all the money all the time in there I just want to go my color and that's been nice but how wonderful to be able to change color mm -hmm. without going through all that nonsense of in the salon every right and this is months. close this is very close right and the truth the honest truth some some new wig wears they're freaking out by having being afraid that a color okay look here's the difference between silverstone and frosted toe you might look at it and really say, oh, it's so different, it's so different. But in your world, either one that you'd wear, I'm telling you, after 40 plus years of wearing wigs, no one, A, cares very right. much if your color is different because they're thinking about them. <laughs> and tonally, they're very close. It's and really so, awesome. it, not to worry. See that? Yeah. Even though, this is a little cooler, this is a little beigier, but really for the public, for the people around you, it's not, not even to consider. Well, you know, it's funny because when I first got it and tried it on, I really liked it. My husband really liked Sabrina? it. Sabrina? Yeah, Sabrina. Okay. But there was a little going out fear, you yes, know, yes. but I followed your advice. The first time I went out, I went where nobody knew me, I mean, to a grocery store. Check. And I took him along because <laughs> I said, you watch and let me know if it looks yeah. bad, if something's happening in the back and I don't know. So I went out that first time and of course there weren't screams of horror or people pointing fingers because- Look at her! Yeah. She's wearing a wig! Like, no. Nobody could tell, nobody cares. And nobody cares. You ease your way in that. Yes. And, and that works. Yes. And with my family, what I did is I took a selfie with the wig. And before I oh. wore it, I said, this is my new wig. I want you to get used to this. And so only nice. my brother laughed because I knew he would. <laughs> okay. But everybody else said, wow, that looks great. And I kind of prepared people for it. Very good. And then after that, and so I don't know, maybe, well, out here on vacation, I've worn it quite a number of times. Well, who cares? Nobody knows. Nobody me. knows. And so, what the heck? So it's great. Yeah, I, it's wonderful. I love that you did that. Thanks for following. You know, my tips. I did exactly. I've only been saying. with thousands of women, <laughs> and I know what works because they keep telling me this works. Yeah. So I'm only sharing from many, many women. And the part that your brother laughed. So 
very important to know that when when you, we are startled or something, we see something unexpected, many times we giggle, we smirk, we laugh. It doesn't mean anything. And, and we're all special. We all love each other in our we community. But in the world, we're not so special that everyone is going to walk up to you and decide, are your nails real? Are your eyelashes real? Is your hair real? No one's got the no, time. No, and no one really cares. And no one really and, cares. Yeah. So it's been an easy, and I mean, I eased into it, but now I have no trepidation about right. going out in a wig or anything. It's just, you know, it's wonderful. Success. And now you're this free. This is so light. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is yes. wonderful. I really like <laughs> it. I We've really, got one, one yeah, good one this for is, sure here. This is really a possibility. That right. is very oh, nice. Let's keep going. That was Abigail in Frosted Toe. Yeah. So when you're not wearing a wig, you turn it inside out. Because if you don't turn it inside out and you don't wear it for a while and you bend it like this, it's going to have a flat bend right here, I know from experience. <laughs> and uh, so very important. If you turn it inside out, it's not going to have that kind of bend because it has, it's cushioned by all the fiber next to each other. So there you go. Okay, next. Carly in Frosty Blonde. Mm -hmm. I wanted to take you a little cooler. Oh, I like that color. Yes, beautiful, yeah, right? Yeah, that is. We've had a lot of requests to make more wigs in Frosty Blonde, so we are strategically going there. So you get that most people wear like two to 20 wigs. I got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> and if you sign up on our birthday promo, you'll get a big birthday gift. Ooh. If you just put your email, we don't share our emails. And you know, we have a drawing every month. I um, know that. Okay. I, I entered one, I didn't win. Okay, but every month, because it's going to be one winner up to $300 every month. Uh, so, oh my gosh, I love this one. This is great. Carly. Yeah. To me, it brings you back to your younger days. It does. Ah. Four to five years ago. Right. This kind of looks like I wore my hair when we got married almost. Yeah. How long have you been married? 46 years. Wow. A long time. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, this is really cute. Yeah. I love to sometimes put it behind one ear. And what color was this one again? Frosty Blonde. Frosty Blonde, I like that. Yeah, a lot of you love Frosty Blonde. Oh, too. I Let can me see show why. You. Let me make sure this is down. Mm. So Carly, so easy, so classic to wear. And the color is great. I, yeah, this, I, from seeing Carly online and uh -huh. everything, I didn't expect to like her this much, uh -huh. but I, I really like this one. Oh, I like the back. Look at that. And so this little part, this is Carly, not your hair. Right. Just like everybody needs to know. For me to get straight hair like this would be so much work. But to be able to just flip on a wig and have it like that. Right. Is, yeah. Wow, I like this one. Mm -hmm. You like this one? Yeah, I really like this I one. I really do. I love the color. It brightens you a little bit, this blonde. I think it does. I think it really does. Wow. So tell us what you're liking on Cindy, because I don't know, Terry might have to uh, <laughs> open his wallet for some more wigs. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, oh, this is, this is really. And let's say for some of you, or you're going a little dressier somewhere, you can just tease the top here just to give it a little more height. Put a spritz of the spray, easy, easy. Or you can put it all behind your ears. Look. Oh my gosh. I really like this color. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's a definite contender. <laughs> Carly, Carly, you're working hard today. Yeah, I like that. One. All right. Next. Oh, yes. Nina. 
Okay, Nina, I know you chose her. Now I understand why I hadn't seen the back of Cindy's head. I saw it when kind of when you did curly in the back. So Nina, I'll start you full. Why don't you put her on? Okay, and you play. All right. Nina was kind of a last minute addition okay. to my list. And I wasn't sure. I had a question mark and I thought, okay, you want to see it for some reason. So, and I don't know why I decided, but I think that's right. Yes. And so watch how slowly Cindy put the wig up to her hairline. She didn't just throw it up there. It's not a rush when you're placing right. your wig. Right. Because if you go too far back, I'm suggesting take it off and do it again because you want a nice, secure fit. Want a brush? No, that's okay. My fingers are good. Okay. So this is Silverstone, Nina. Nina. I tone her down a bit, but... Okay. Do you want a spritz of water? Spritz of water would okay. be good. I don't think on my... Sabrina, I, well, she's not real fond. So Sabrina I is flat, that. much yeah. flatter than Nina. Right. Which and I, just, I started out with her. Okay. Because I felt that was All right. the best thing to do was something that's not way different, but that I could cope with. Exactly <laughs> what we talked about right. earlier. Right. Start in your comfort zone. And I do have Sabrina, we're going to put on Cindy in a different color Ooh. than Silverstone. Because I know you love her. Yeah, I do. So look how this mm. is starting to go. Yeah. And so she's just using her hands. Right. And that's basically what I do most mm -hmm. of the time. Love it. Yeah. That's... Let me show you all the back, and then I'm going to show Cindy. But you see, this is the curl that she likes. If you see white under there, it's just the price tag. So all that just natural and the beauty of our wigs of having high quality synthetic fibers is you wash this wig and condition it shake it let it drip dry it will always dry with that curl in the back that i'm going to show you that you're going to go oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh i like that curl. <laughs> see that that's why this is you exactly because this looks like what my hair would do okay yeah. And now I know why you... Now you know why I wanted to see this why. one. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that feels, that feels nice. So back yeah. to Silverstone, of course it does come in many, all, all the wigs we're showing today come in many, many other colors. So you can check on our GodivaSecretWigs.com website. That's a good that's a good Is she a contender? Should I, I put her in the maybes? Um, to help you choose when you get to yeah, I choosing think so. one. Yeah, he says so. Yeah, I think so. I, I love the back. And so it, can I play one minute right sure. here? So I like to kind of take it up and back a little bit. Maybe give you a little fullness. You have a small face, a little thin here, so I would vote to just fill it out a little bit. And I think that's why you like the page voice. Yeah, yeah. Because it gives you that little extra. And just playing. So here's the wig, but you could pull your hair out. Right, my hair goes fine with Silverstone, I've discovered. It's, it works. So, and I know you like your wigs flat, but I just want to say, for those of you who want to wear your wig super flat, just be careful a little bit. And if you're going to wear it flat, a wig that is machine teased has little hairs. That's what gives it the lift. It will always have lift. I have some wigs that are over 15 years old, 18 years old. They still look good. They still have the lift. But just get in here and lighten it up a little bit so it looks more natural. Otherwise, go for a monofilament wig that's totally flat. Yeah. I think I like the teasing a yes. little bit. I don't want anything totally flat. Yeah. And I have also this, I like to change the part on my Sabrina. So some days I wear the way okay. I normally part, and other, other days I part her another way. Great. And so let's just see a minute here. 
because for me, I can change most any part. I kind of back home with my nails. I see this. Bench. I see you that. that. Just to see. So it's just a plane. When you first get a new wig, play with it. Don't just make it wrong and take it off your head because it wants to connect with you. It's like a new relationship. You know, how do you sit down and have one sip of wine and then go, okay, we're not a match, bye. <laughs> I'm learning that now that I'm single. <laughs> well, it's, uh, yeah, and you know, on, on your Facebook group, and I love to go in there and read comments and see what people have, and I read about some people that have bought a wig and they've had it for like a year or more and haven't worn it out because they're worried about it. And I'm going, oh my gosh, nothing bad. A lightning bolt will not come down and strike you, I guarantee. So get used to it. Just wear it around the house. Do you hear it, those of you? Yeah, just wear it around the house, play with it, and then just... Go to a grocery store in a different part of town and, yes. you know, you know, and look at yourself. I, what I think, too, is I'd pass windows and look in and I'd go, oh, yes, that looks okay. Yes. You know? So, I mean, it, it's, yeah, it, there's obviously always going to be that little trepidation because yes. it's new. Right. But you can get used to it, and my gosh, it's fun. Right. <laughs> I agree with everything you said, and as you're talking, I'm kind of getting a message that, when we haven't liked our hair, we are not looking in the mirror very much. Right. So we've kind of stopped doing so much makeup. We're, we're looking in the mirror kind of saying, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Then you get a new wig, and it's very important to have a new thought to accompany a new change that you're making, like a new attitude. You can't have that old attitude I don't like what I see, and then put a wig on because you're gonna still, I don't like what I see. So it's very important to be open. And so all of a sudden, we're saying, look in a lot of mirrors. It doesn't mean you're vain. This is how you build your confidence, right? Exactly, it's how you get used to yes. it and seeing you look like that. And all of a sudden it becomes Second nature, I guess. Exactly. It so. just is part of you. That's why so many of you say, oh, I look good in every wig. It's not so much that I look good in it. I think it's my attitude that women are walking around with all kinds of hair. And so any wig I put on, I make that me. And that's why I'm putting you in some other colors. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. Let's see how it goes. And no judgment, but trust yourself. You bought the wig. I trust that you have good sense. And we don't carry thousands of wigs, just wigs that look real. So you get one on, like let, let Danielle and I, you know, trust us first of all, and then spend time and connect with your wig or wigs. Okay, now, Sabrina in Mochaccino. Because I wanted to see you in this soft, I know you don't like the roots. Well, maybe you will in this color, I don't know. Because I don't like to make assumptions when we're trying new things. Wow, that looks totally different than what I put in my Sabrina. And I, I know this audience already, they're going to be going, Boca <laughs> I know, I know. Because it's just another you. It's just, that's all. It's it a beautiful color, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. It's got some blonde. It's got some beautiful highlights. It does. But it's a warm, beautiful color with your skin tone. It is nice and warm. And that's why, you know, I love the Silverstone and I am gray, but I think it does tend to maybe wash me out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, my own gray does. I know the Silverstone has some more gray colors in it and that helps. But, uh, ooh. <laughs> well, so when you look, hubby, when you look, what do you, what's your, as a husband, what do you think? I like the color. It, it, it adds more to her uh, face. Depth. Uh, There's more depth in the colors. Yes. Yeah. And this is why you threw me with your gray hair and light makeup and gray t-shirt. Okay. Because well, actually it was, it was a blue t-shirt, but oh, you okay. can say you All can right. say. All right, in my camera, <laughs> it was, it was like, great. But okay, so 
but I can see you in jewel tones. I mean, and you look, you wear purple, but I only know from the first right. picture. Right. But I had, now look at the color of your cheeks and look at your eyes. Yeah, I think that really brings out color. And again, I think like you were mentioning, you stop wearing makeup, you don't like to look in the mirror, so you don't, and I don't wear, well, when I work, I wore makeup all the time, but retired and then the pandemic and then we're going anywhere, so I just got used to it. But today it's the most makeup I've had on in quite a while, but it makes a big difference. I love I the think. makeup you have on because I see, you know, it all matches together and your bangs are mochaccino. I didn't realize that. And your glasses, do you see how all the different colors when you have a little blush, a little lipstick, that's also why you see Danielle and I, we are wearing makeup. <laughs> And I just finished another video where I start with almost no makeup and I put wigs on and then I keep adding a little more makeup and you really do see the difference. It's about the total look. I think really this, but this is Sabrina. I like this color. Mochaccino. R. Oh, and it is So R. it's got the root, but it's a well, slapped it, root. Yeah, it's not so noticeable. No. That, yeah. So look at you. Yeah, see, I love the back of Sabrina. That's just really nice. And look at your profile. I mean, it's it's just the color it suits your skin tone. I think if that's something you wanted to play with. Yeah. Oh. See, that's, <laughs> the thing is, in trying to choose colors, it's really hard to fi figure out what would go well mm -hmm. with your skin mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you know, clothes. You can. Yep. All that, but wig something else. So. All right, I'm gonna keep moving you on because we've got more. I kind of went crazy <laughs> with Cindy today, so let's keep going. Next, we have. I chose Dawn and Sugar Cane. Okay. I wanted you to see it. It's all curly. It is curly. And I don't know. I wanted you to see it. For women that like curly hair, see. I'm not attached to how you look. I haven't known you long enough. So any wig just looks like, okay, that's her hair. <laughs> now, that isn't anything I think I would like. Okay, too curly. Too yeah. much. It's too much. Too okay. much hair. And, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you are, have a smaller face than I, than I knew. Moving right along, Trixie in Butter Pecan. So Trixie, we call the little longer sister of freedom. So this will be interesting to see if the back might be a length that you like. It's a lovely color. Mm -hmm. Butter pecan. It's got a little more gold to it. So it's mm. these wispies that everyone likes. And this can all come down. See how I can oh, just yeah. flatten the whole thing down if I want. I want to round this bang out. I took it to help you. Okay, I don't want to do it much, but I just wanted to give you a little feel. And so you can also. Well, she's nice, but I don't think she's not me. throwing you. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah. You've got three or four right there to make a choice that look really, really good. Okay, next. Alana, spring honey. Okay. Ooh. So Phil. Ooh. Nice yeah. and light. Very low density wig, Alana. And many of these we offer in average and large sizes. So, yeah, this is going to be a good color for you. And you can definitely put bangs in it. She doesn't come with bangs. Now we're going a little longer. Yeah, it's a little longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I want to make sure this is up. Yes, up at your hairline. So, you know, picture a little bang. Right. 
That color is mine. Do you like this mm -hmm. color? I do too. Yeah. Spring honey. Spring honey. So see, right now you're able to wear mochaccino. I mean, you're able to wear any of them, but you're liking, and I agree, mochaccino, spring honey. Still can't really make a ponytail with it. No, so with that same sorry. ponytail. Well, I really want the ponytail for my hair to help anchor the wig down. Oh, okay, okay. Because, uh, yeah, okay. unfortunately, decades ago I had some surgery and I have bone missing back there. Okay. So part of my head goes in. So okay. I'm thinking that if I can put a little bit of a, my hair in a ponytail right in the center, it would really help to anchor the wig. Okay, or you could just sew a couple of metal wig clips that's right in there yeah. and just clip it to your I hair. I was thinking that might be a good And not thing have to, to worry about, I need to grow my hair, I need to grow right. my hair. Right, right. So, but, so that is Alana Spring Honey. Okay. She's nice, but I don't think I like her as well as the okay. other ones. Correct. You agree with that? And yes. I do agree too. Yep. Okay, now we're back to Frosted Taupe in mm -hmm. Katie. So I'm choosing, I wanted to take you a little longer. I don't know, you didn't tell me, but I know Katie can always be trimmed too. So here, play with her. Okay. Yeah, great color, that oh, frosted like taupe that. on yeah. you. I like the frosted taupe. So you, you weren't, I just want to be clear, you said you want to make a ponytail. I thought you wanted to grow your hair, but you only wanted to grow your hair to, to help to have an the, anchor for, for the, the wig. wig. Yeah. Well, then maybe some some wig clips. I think that could be might, good. Might do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of good wigs here on you. I can't wait to read all of your comments. I like her, but I don't think I want it quite that long. Okay, so I could trim it to right here. Yeah, that would be, yeah. So let's just see a minute. Wow, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you're looking at Katie, you know, when I look at a wig and I'm choosing, this is most important to me. I have some clients that have bought a wig down to almost their elbow because they love this. And they have it cut they shorter. They just have it cut. Wow. And some women will say, well, why? They paid extra for the long hair. But it was worth it for them to have that to exact get what they style wanted. that they want. So, yes. So look at that. Katie trimmed. Yeah, Katie trimmed would be. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that. It's, yeah. Now you can make a little pony. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I chose her. <laughs> So let me just show all of you the back on Katie. And so yes, you can easily just cut these tails right off and have a sweet little page. Yeah, she's nice. And I do like frosted taupe. I just, yeah, that's very nice. I know, I know, I'm learning. Okay, and our last wig, I have to try on you is Harmony. And I wanted to take you into something warmer. This is Maple Sugar. And I'm wearing Maple Sugar R in Rochelle right now. Okay. So it's a little deeper. And again, it can be cut. So, and look for color while we're looking. And right. I'm going to flatten all this down right now, real quick. <laughs> Now that color doesn't appeal to me. Yeah. No, and so let's just compare it to the mochaccino because that was a great color for you. Where did I just put her? She should be. Oh, there. it's right here. Right there. there she is, there she is. So very close, warmer. Maple sugar is definitely warmer and mochaccino a little cooler. So maybe this is feeling too red, too warm for yeah, you. Yeah, I think it is. 
So let's just pop on Mochaccino again in Sabrina. Now that you have the deeper color, see it's a yeah, little it cooler. Makes, yeah, that's that one didn't do much for me. This one I really like. So okay, it's very yeah. Isn't that strange mm -hmm. how it does that? Yeah, and it's just what kind of what speaks to us, right? But yeah, this color is, is very nice. Well, I always have to get 10 wigs. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my goodness, yeah. That's great. So yeah. we're going to take a quick little break, and we're going to try and narrow this down, and we will get right back with you, OK? Stay tuned. So hi. Cindy was having too much fun with all the wigs, so I, I had to put this sweet little freedom on in Silverstone R. Now I feel better because I got to change my wig too. So, okay, so you chose two wigs. I did, I did. So which do you think she chose? Ding dong. So she chose Abigail in Frosted Taupe and Carly in Frosty Blonde. Different colors, beautiful, similar. So I'm going to show you how I trim up Abigail right now. So let's make sure your bangs are out of the way. Okay, cut this tag. Let me put my glasses on. Good. <laughs> it's always good to have the person with the scissors have glasses on her face. Right. <laughs> I agree. So most important, critical, is that you make sure before you trim that the wig is on and even and everything feels right, that it's at your hairline, not lower. You never want a wig lower than your hairline because it's going to make your forehead appear smaller. We don't want that. So always come up a little bit. I'm going to make it a little tighter on you. So Abigail has little Velcro straps right here mm -hmm. that I can make it tighter or looser in the back, one on each end. So that's all you do. No, I didn't do too much, but yeah, I think that, do you feel a little, that does it feel a little more secure? A little more, yes. Okay. Oh, that's you. So even your silver would works go with it. it. Would go. Could would stick go. out. And yeah, could stick out. Not to worry. And you know that the ear tabs have a little wire in them. Yes. Okay. So in case you don't know, the ear tabs you don't want them like wings. The ear tabs have wire in them, and they are meant for you to just flatten out, and that helps the wig be right against your skin. So those are all important. With our lace front wigs, what Danielle and I love is you don't have to cut the lace. Like some other companies, you have to cut the lace, glue the lace, none of that. So our lace is ready to go. It's soft, right? It's very soft. Good. Don't even feel it. Good, good to know as you're thinking about choosing a wig. So, we are even. Does it feel good on you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe just down a little bit more. Okay. Back. Yeah. It probably could be a little tighter. Okay, let me make it tighter. Does that feel better? That feels better. So what I suggest for bangs is we start with just a few wispy bangs. You can always add more, but you do not want to cut in haste. So always opt for less and trim longer than you're thinking of, and then work your way up and add more hair if you want to. 
that makes sense? I think so. Okay, so I know you don't want your bangs in your face, but I'm still going longer than I know you want it. Just want to start somewhere. Keeping these little sides longer for the moment, but see how it's already starting to make a little sense already? Yes, yeah. I like just the little wispy bit. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So when I'm trimming bangs, the goal is I don't want it touching your eyeballs because the fiber will hurt. It'll bother you. So to have it look, have the bangs look like you almost need a haircut but not quite. And then if you like shorter, you can go shorter. But I'm cutting little piece by piece, little by little. And I never cut straight across, unless that's the look that you want. I want you to see how we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> it's looking great. Yeah. Okay, let me keep going. So I opened this up a little bit, and we may do a little bit more in a minute, but we'll just see. Okay. Also, when you have long hair next to short bangs, every time you put it on, just first make sure that the long hair is not in the bangs. So I'm not saying wear it that way, although it looks pretty, but this way it's easier to distinguish, so you're not going to have little long hairs mixed in there, and it'll drive you crazy. Pretty beautiful. Yeah. Right? And it can be as glamorous or casual as you want. Terry, what do you think? I have Cindy look at me. <laughs> oh, that looks like her, her bangs that she works on. Yeah. yeah. Good. Very nice. brush. And I put my finger over the hair to help it okay. wind around. See what that did? Yeah, just softened it up a little bit. So let's talk about, oh, let me take this out a little bit more. Okay, 
Let's talk about this hair right here. So you can always leave it. I always say, if in doubt, don't trim it because you can always have someone else do it. I opened it up before it was a little more like this. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. And would you like me to trim this tail a little bit? I'd like the tail trimmed a little bit. Okay, do you like it to be in line with this hair right here? Or let me start a little longer. Do you like this little curly or you want it straighter? Straighter, shorter. I think, shorter. Yeah, just a little bit okay. shorter. Longer, but it's pretty much in line yeah. right here. That looks Let me stay still a minute. And remember that since our wigs don't change, that's why our clients own 2 to 20 and 30 and 40, this wig will always look like this. So it's a precision cut is not as important as a visual cut. So that was a great choice right there. That was a great choice. Do you see everybody how we just took that little longer tail of Abigail and now you've got a sweet little A-line here. Looks great. Yeah, that looks very nice. Are you good? Yeah. Let's just make sure over here. I mean, nothing to do anywhere else. Do you, well, let's see, that might be too long. Take this a little shorter to match, and then we'll go from there. So I'm just making this side match. Yeah. Oh, that's that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I do too. I like it. Look at this. So you can bring it forward. Or you can put this some of it behind your ears. You can leave just a little piece here. Look how oh, natural yeah. that looks. That does, doesn't that? That yes, is really very nice. natural. Yeah. Ah. Oh. And there's nothing to do with the back. So here we have a finished Abigail. Yeah. That is sensational. I think it looks really nice. Okay, look. <laughs> 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 I think that's good. Well, I'm, yeah. Oh, mama mia. So let's look at uh, Carly real quick. Okay. So you can see normally nothing needs to be done with Carly, but you have come a long way, so I want to make positive. <laughs> you don't need anything done. But Carly's bangs are ready to go. And so again, taking that longer hair and getting it away from your face. I see a couple of little a hairs. A couple, I want there's to take just care a of. couple. Yeah. Okay. And let me round this just a little. Just a few little extra hairs And so I know you could do this in your mirror. It's not a big deal.
Cindy, you tell me, do you feel anything in your eyes? No. Okay. No. That feels good. Good. And so remembering you can put it, even though you are a little gray, it's perfect with frosted tote. It would still. Oh, completely, completely. So let's cut the price tag and make her officially yours. All right. Katie, you're going home with Cindy. I mean, Katie, Carly. <laughs> Carly, yes. Carly. Let's take this off so we can see. I just think that that is, wow. I think those were two wonderful choices. Great. And great. the other ones are right up there. They'll be on my Christmas list. <laughs> <laughs> on your Christmas so, yeah. list. Love it. You know, I want to put Abigail on one more time okay. without the cape because I just want our viewers to see the finished look. So again, when you have bangs and long hair, just move that long hair upwards. So that hair, it goes up here, up here. All right. <laughs> and so just trimming those two that made points a, made a big difference, I think. Yeah. Smile, Terry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Thank you well, I, thank so you. much. Thank you. I've really enjoyed <laughs> this. And, uh, you know, I have friends that I've told about you and your wigs. And they're into the Facebook group and watching it. And one of them yeah. said, well, you're going to go see my friend grow. And I don't get to see her. And I said, oh, she's your friend. Well, yeah, I watch her all the time. Oh. And you watch, <laughs> yes. You know, your personality, I think you come into people's homes and they all feel like, you are their friend. Thank and you're you. there to help them. Thank it's you. Wonderful. And you are absolutely in person the same as on your video. Thank so, you. I hope so, because I'm not lying. <laughs> no, you're not. You just, you just get me. And once again, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, if you do go on Facebook, oh my gosh. So will you post those photos on Facebook? Because uh, it's just so much fun. So thank you oh, so thank you. much. Thank you. It was mm -hmm. nice to meet you, and this was so much fun. I enjoyed it. And um, I'm glad I finally made it out to California to do this. You so. came all the way. Yeah. I love it. And any last tips for our wig virgin yes. or our new wig wearers? Yeah, just, you know, take that first step, and I think you'll be really happy and just ease your way into it. It's not like you have to put it on and immediately go out dancing with all your friends. I mean, just ease yourself in, yeah. and I think you will really enjoy it. Perfect. Really. It's a process. It's a journey. Go with it. Enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. So, thank you. All right. And thank you, Terry. Great, amazing husband. We love, we love yes. <laughs> men, husbands that are open to letting us express who we want to be. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. And give us your comments, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.